hope we don't pop a tire. 79. If you come up here, it's at your own risk. Oh, watch out, babe. Oh man, you have got to put this on your summer bucket list. I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who traded in our home and art studio for a home studio on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and inspiration. And we'd love to have you join us on our adventures. That's like the world's biggest pancake. There's going to be about 10 of them. Good job. Uh, You're a pro. Yeah. yeah. Yummy. There was a time in this fair land when the railroad did not run. And the wild majestic mountains stood alone against the sun. Pancakes and singing. We got a lot of batter. Do you want any special shapes? A heart. Oh, for lo I love you. You know what? I'm going to save the creativity for later today. Okay. <laughs> Make them brown. You're going to just do round? We better go for a walk and walk off these carbs, though. Is that too much butter? One can never have too much butter. You even did the dishes? I did. Oh, man. They're done. What a good hubby. We found a hidden gem. We've been here all these months and we didn't discover it until just a couple days ago. We're going to take you to Elk River today, just outside of Port Orford along the Oregon coast. It's beautiful. This is the furthest inland we've gone in six months. We're like five miles inland and it's the furthest we've gone inland. So we were reading last night that the Elk River is one of just five wild and designated wild and scenic rivers in I think Southern Oregon. The Rogue and the Chetco being two of the other ones. I'm not sure what the fourth and fifth ones are, but this one's just beautiful with turquoise waters. But this road is ready to give way. Look at that crack there. The chances of us getting trapped in here are incrementally going up by the minute. Check this out. I hope we don't pop a tire. It's probably not. I hope visible. that we get out of here before another rock wall collapses. <laughs> oh, here's more debris. Okay, so. A little disclaimer, a little disclaimer, if you come up here, it's at your own risk. Oh, watch out, babe. Well, it's also like the first end of, uh, what, when is it? It's the end of February. It's the end of February, so the roads probably haven't been cleared as much as they could be, and there's a lot of water coming down, which is bringing rocks and trees and Oh, look at that yeah. turquoise pool over there. Anyway, 
probably a little easier in the summer, but you won't have all these waterfalls, I bet. So. And it is February, and you know what I forgot to bring with me today? What? A coat. You're so prepared. I forgot to bring my coat. Oh my so, gosh, look at this tree. Beautiful. Large, sharp rock. I did not see. We have our tire pressure or monitoring system. Oh, yeah, turn on the TPMS and make sure we're not going to start being. Oh. The back right's at 79. Okay, and that front one, front right is at 84. So we need to make sure that doesn't drop. Did you bring a front, air compressor? Front right is 84 pounds, 84 psi. And the back right outside tire is at 79. So, and no, we don't have an air compressor. Why? I don't have a jacket. Why? And we don't have a chainsaw. Do you have a way to change the tire? Yeah, we could change the tire. Okay. If it was an outside, a front tire or the outside tire. I don't know how to change the inside tire. I have to learn. We are at Butler Bar Campground. It was the second campground we passed. We probably won't go any further than this, but you can. We just already ran over a really sharp rock and we have to keep an eye on our tire pressure and get out of here. But these campgrounds are really awesome. There's picnic tables, fire pits. You're right on the river. There's outhouses. And yeah, if you have a four by four or a really cool off-roading camping, situation i would definitely come up here you could fish for salmon you could kayak it's beautiful and there's waterfalls everywhere too so we're gonna go exploring get some video and footage of the river and waterfalls and then turn around and try to get back out of here <laughs> There's an amazing fishing hole right behind me. We don't have any fishing equipment. I could see why people come to fish this river. There's some beautiful turquoise pools that I'm sure are just full of amazing fish. Anyway, we're gonna stop and we found a sunny spot to have a picnic, enjoy the river, and then we'll head on down the road. This is what it's all about. I kind of want a truck camper right now. I want to camp down here. Do you care about the toilet? Can we get another pop-up? Um, uh, we need a little toilet. See what else we can find. You watch the road. I'll watch the river. Okay? Okay. We found a path down to a beautiful spot. It looked beautiful from the road. There's a rope guardrail a little ways. We have our hiking sticks, but I think it'll be a good payoff. It's gorgeous down there. It's cold. But it's beautiful. So let's see if we can make it down here without falling. Oh, 
Oh, totally beautiful. This is magical. There's all these little potholes that you could literally just sit in, you know, when it's warmer. I would totally come up here and camp if I had a, a off-road vehicle. Open roads for two, this is the spot for you. Oh, it's just me hanging out in the most perfect little meditation spot I've ever found in nature. <laughs> 